Welcome back to my channel. Let's start right away with the first earrings. In this video, I use 2.6mm beads and 0.3mm nylon cord. And for the first one, 70cm. I start like always. By now, most of you are very familiar with this. Add 3 beads and pass both ends of your cord through another one. Add one bead on each side. And pull both ends of your cord through a third bead. Now we repeat this 20 times. Of course you can make more or less, depending on how big or small you want your earring to be. For the 24th, I add two beads to the right cord and then pull both cords to another one, like always. Same thing again. Now it should look like this. I turn it around, so it's a little bit easier for me to continue. Now I take the right cord and pass it through the bead next to it. That means that we only have to add one bead to the left cord, before we pull both cords through the second one. I show it two more times. Just continue until you're back at the top. At the end, I add two beads to the left cord and pass it through these two beads. Then I make two knots and seal them with glue. When you continue, make sure the knot is facing towards you. Now we start to pull both sides together. Take a new piece of cord, pass your cord through the first bead, add a new one and pull it through the other one. And now we pass both ends of our cord through a new bead. And pull your cord through the next two beads. Add a new one and so on. Now it should look like this. Make sure your earring isn't twisted. Add one bead and pull your cord through the bead on the opposite side. Add a new bead. And now the first side is connected. Now we have to pull the cord through the next two beads. And again add a new one. To close the last gap, we have to pull our cord through all of these three beads.
technically we're done. I just take the left cord and bring it next to the other one, so the knot doesn't stick out so much. Now you can squeeze it into shape. And attach your earring. Let's continue with the second one. It's the same technique as always, so I just let you follow along with me and the images on the side. This time we add two beads to the right chord and again. From now on we have to pull the left chord through the beads from the previous row. That's also what the circle with the border means if you look at the graphic. Now we make the top part, which is really easy. After we made a second one of every piece, it's time to put them together. Make sure the knots are facing up before you continue. We start in the center with these two beads. Pull your new piece of cord through the first one
add a new bead and then pass your cord through the second one. And then pull both ends through another one. Pass your cord through the next two beads. And again add a new one. Just repeat until you're back at the beginning. At the end, pass your cord through the very first bead we added, instead of a new one. Now we have to do the same exact thing for the outside. Again, I bring both cords to one side, so we can hide the knot between the beads. The same way we make the top part, except this time we add our stud earrings. Now we can put all parts together. And we're done. Now we get to our last pair. The last step is to pull both ends of your cord through this bead from the beginning. To make the top part, restart with only two beads instead of three. The same applies for all corners.
Now it should look like this. Trust the process. It will look round when we're finished. We connect both sides exactly like we did with the second pair. Same thing again. Don't get confused here, it works the same way. And don't forget your stud earring. And we're done with our last earring. I hope this video was helpful to you. See you next time.